مولانا جلال الدین محمد بلخی better known in the West as Rumi was not unfamiliar with crisis. He lived during a time when the earth was experiencing a significant eclipse that included the residues of the Crusades, the immediate threat of the bloodthirsty Mongol armies, and the onset amnesia Muslims were experiencing. Yet, during this earthly eclipse, he found the sun within his own heart. His life is one of hope and possibilities. Through his teachings, mainly in the form of sacred verses, Rumi gives us many themes to contemplate on, marinate in, and fully embody and manifest in our lives. Three of such themes that I find relevant for our time include discernment, a crisis mirror backs to us and begs us for assessment and reassessment, sense-making and introspection into all aspects of our lives. And for this, one needs to cultivate the art of discernment. Invitation. Many of Rumi's sacred verses include the Persian word Bia, which means come. He invites us again and again to this love which he continuously points to. He invites us to shed all that is not us and does not serve us and enter and embody our true essence, which is here with us all the time. And finally, prayer. After discernment comes the invitation for rebuilding our lives with the treasure that is found at the bottom of our ruined house. And for this, humility through surrendering is what is needed most, and experiential prayer is its best means. With joy in my heart, I will offer three of Rumi's poems each speaking to one of these three themes. I will first recite them in their original language, Persian, the language Rumi uttered. Then I will provide an English translation for each. May they nourish your hearts and guide them to the one needful thing, for the one reason we are here for. Before we start, I would like to invite you into your hearts. In Persian, the word for breath and inhalation is dam. And the word for what we call exhalation is baz dam. And baz dam means inhalation again. Semantically itself, it points to the fact that there is only one breath. The one when we inhale this existence, the beloved in, we call inhalation. And what we call exhalation is when the beloved inhales us. So our relationship to that which we are seeking is that intimate. So I invite you to bring your attention inside of your heart and breathe in and be breathed from your heart as you hear and see these sacred verses that Rumi has gifted us. دلا نزد کسی بنشین که او از دل خبر دارد به زیر آن درختی رو که او گلهای تر دارد در این بازار اتاران مرا هر سوچ و بیکاران به دکان کسی بنشین که در دکان شکر دارد 
ترازو گر نداری پس تو را زو ره زند هر کس یکی قلبی بیاراید تو پنداری که زر دارد تو را بردر نشاند او به تراری که میآید تو منشین منتظر بردر که آن خانه دو در به هر دیگی که می جوشد میابر کاسف و منشین که هر دیگی که می جوشد در اون چیزی دگر دارد نه هر کلکی شکر دارد نه هر زیری زبر دارد نه هر چشمی نظر دارد نه هر بحری گوهر دارد بنال ای بل بل دستان از ایرا ناله مستان میان صخره و خارا اثر دارد اثر دارد به سر گر نمی گنجی که اندر چشمه سوزن اگر رشته نمی گنجد از آن باشد که سر دارد چراغ است این دل بیدار به زیر دامنش می دار. از این باد و هوا بگذر هوایش شور و شر دارد چو تو از باد بگذشتی مقیم چشمه ای گشتی حریف همدمی گشتی که آبی بر جگر دارد چو آبت بر جگر باشد درخت سبز رامانی که میوه نودهد دامن درون دل سفر دارد او مای هارت سیت ات دی فیت اف دی وان هو هاز ان اویرنس اف دی هارت گو اند ریست بینیث دت تری دت هاز فرش بلاسمینگ باد Do not meander aimlessly through the market of herb sellers and potion vendors, but dwell instead within the shop of one who has sugar in stock. Unless you possess your own discerning scale, you'll be quickly prey to any thief. One would offer you a fake coin, and you will mistake it For gold. The thief will have you sit by the door and cunningly say, I will soon return. But don't keep waiting at the door, for the house has two entrances. Don't bring your bowl and meekly sit by each and every boiling pot, for each and every boiling pot conceals yet something else inside. Not every cane is sugar field. Not every down has an up. Not every eye can truly see. Not every ocean has its pearl. O oh, nightingale, go on lamenting for the moaning of your drunken ecstasy even among granite rocks and stones, does leave a mark, does leave a mark. If you cannot fully surrender, then lose your head. For if the thread rebelliously declines to pass through the eye of the needle, it is because it has a head. This awakened heart is your guiding light. Protect it well beneath your robe and pass through these impermanent winds so full of crisis and turmoil. Once you've passed beyond those gusty winds, you'll dwell beside the divine spring and find a friend who shares your breath and drinks from that life-giving spring. When that water circulates and nourishes your soul, you will be like a tree 
that is evergreen and always bears the freshest fruits for its movement flows from the depth of the heart. حیلت رها کن آشقا دیوانه شو دیوانه شو و در دل آتش درا پروانه شو پروانه شو هم خیش را بیگانه کن هم خانه را ویرانه کن وانگه بیا با آشقان هم خانه شو هم خانه شو رو سینه را چون سینه ها هفت آب شو از کینه ها وانگه شراب عشق را پیمانه شو پیمانه شو باید که جمله جان شویم تا لایق جانان شویم گر سوی مستان می روی مستانه شو مستانه شو آن گوشوار شاهدان هم صحبت آرز شده آن گوش و آرز باید دردانه شو دردانه شو چون جان تو شد در هوا زفسانه شیرین ما فانی شو و چون آشقان افسانه شو افسانه شو تو لیلت القبری برو تا لیلت قدری شوی چون قدر مر ارواح را کاشانه شو کاشانه شو اندیشت جایی رود بانگه تو را آنجا رود زندیشه بگذر چون قضا پیشانه شو پیشانه شو قفلی بود میل و هوا بنهاده بر دلهای ما مفتاح شو مفتاح را دندانه شو دندانه شو بنواخت نور مصطفی آن استون حنانه را کم طرز چوبی نیستی حنانه شو حنانه شو گویت سلیمان مرتا را بشنو لسان التای را دامی و مرغ از تو رمد رولانه شو رولانه شو گر چهره بن مایت سنم پر شو از او چون آینه و زولف بکشایت سنم روشانه شو روشانه شو تا کی دو شاخه چون رخی تا کی چو بیزق کم تکی تا کی چو فرزین کج روی فرزانه شو فرزانه شو شکرانه دادی عشق را از تحفه ها و مال ها هل مال را خود را بده شکرانه شو شکرانه شو یک مدتی ارکان بودی یک مدتی حیوان بودی یک مدتی چون جان شدی جانانه شو جانانه شو ای ناطق بر بام و در تا کی روی در خانه پر نطخ زبان را ترک کن بیچانه شو بیچانه شو او اسپرنت لوور Liberate yourself from all deceit and scheme. Dissolve your mind, become mad. Then fearlessly enter into the heart of the divine flame. Become a butterfly. Become a butterfly. Estrange your own false self. 
tear down and leave in ruins this constructed identity you call home. Then come and become housemates with the lovers. Become their housemates. Go and cleanse your heart like polished mirrors. Wash it seven times from all hatred and resentment. Then unto the wine of love become a vessel. Become a vessel. You must entirely become empty of all to be capable of resonating flawlessly with the beloved, your divine nature. Toward the assembly of the divinely intoxicated ones, should you go, go intoxicated, become intoxicated. The most precious pearl earring has become intimate with the beloved's countenance. If you long for such an intimacy with the beloved, become an exquisite pearl, become an exquisite pearl. And should your soul begin to soar from hearing our sweet divine tale, dissolve completely and like lovers become persistently sweet, become persistently sweet. The current state of your soul is a dark night. Traverse until you reach that night in which the light descends, and thus through your ripe capacity become the dwelling place of the Spirit. As your thoughts wander aimlessly in all direction, you are pulled by them here and there. Transcend your thoughts, transcend your mind, then be led by divine will and lead the way by divine will. Our base desires and passing whims have placed a lock upon our hearts. Become a key or better yet, become the key's unlocking tea. The presence of the chosen one, the prophet, made the pillar he leaned on moan after his departure. You are surely more than a wooden post. Yearn for such love, yearn for such love. King Solomon is reminding you to listen to the message of the birds. Don't be a trap that scares us away. Become a nest, become a haven. When the beloved reveals its countenance, be like a mirror that reflects it perfectly. When the beloved's hair is loosened, become a comb, become a comb. How long will you move to and fro like a rook? How long will you travel alone like a pawn? How long will you school like a bishop? Move like the king, move like the king. You have willingly in gratitude gave away your vanity and wealth for the sake of love. Never mind those things, give yourself away. Become thanksgiving, become gratitude. A while you were the four elements, a while you were an animal, a while you have become a human with spirit, and now dissolve in the beloved, dissolve in the beloved. O orator of all these words, how long will you be scattered Settle in your heart, abandon words, let go of speech, and remain quiet. ای حوث های دلم باری بیا روی نما ای مراد و حاصلم 
باری بیا روی نم مشکل و شوریده ام چون زلف تو چون زلف تو ای گشاده مشکلم باری بیا روی نم از ره و منزل مگو دیگر مگو دیگر مگو ای تو راه و منزلم باری بیا روی در رو بودی از زمین یک مشت گل یک مشت گل در میان آن گلم باری بیا روی تاز نیکی و از بدی من واقفم من واقفم از جمالت قافلم باری بیا روی تا نسوزد عقل من در عشق تو در عشق تو قافلم نی آقلم باری بیا روی شه صلاح الدین که تو هم حاضری هم قایبی ای اوجوب واسلم باری بیا روی Oh, my heart's deepest desire, come, glance my way, reveal your divine countenance. Oh, my pure mirror and manifested hope, come, glance my way, reveal your divine countenance. I am in my own way and I am ecstatic as the turbulent curls of your hair. You are the only one who can undo me. So come, glance my way, reveal your divine countenance. No longer speak of the path and the abode, for you are my path and you are my abode. Come, glance my way, reveal your divine countenance. You grabbed a handful of dust from the earth. I am amongst the dust caught in your holy hand. Come, glance my way, reveal your divine countenance. As long as I occupy myself with the delusion of knowing right from wrong, I deny myself the true essence of your divine countenance. So come, glance my way, reveal your divine countenance. Not until my intellect is burned into ashes through your love, I remain in this stream unawakened. So come, glance my way, reveal your divine countenance. O oh, King of the Hearts, Salah you are simultaneously present and absent in this world. You are a wonder who has reached the final station. Come, glance my way, reveal your divine
I'd like to thank you for your time, for your love, and for your attention. And now that you have access to the poems, I would like to invite you to be with the poems inside of your heart. Contemplate on them, marinate in them, and embody them. Contemplate, marinate, embody. Contemplate, marinate, be. May they nourish your hearts. May you always be happy. And may that which is best for you unfold naturally by grace. Thank you.